Hello, I'm starting this vlog out on the strip, which is pretty unusual, but I just stopped by Hermes and now we're actually headed over to Italy and we were at the Hermes, I hope you can hear me, we were at the Hermes at Crystal's Mall and we can actually walk all the way over to Italy, like through the casinos because it's too hot to be walking outside. So that's what we're doing and I think we're just gonna grab some dinner there. Actually, maybe do some grocery shopping because I'm looking for some decent, decent Italian food. I think I left you guys last night at Italy. My husband and I stopped in there to grab some dinner because we had to go to the Hermes store to make an exchange. So we decided to go to the Hermes store at Crystal's Mall. Um, the parking there is just easier. There's a bunch of Hermeses all over the uh, Las Vegas Strip, like Bellagio, Wynn, but I like going to the Crystal's one. It's just the easiest. There's free valet parking, just FYI. Um, so uh, I had purchased a belt for my husband while I was in Europe because we celebrated our 27th uh, like dating anniversary while I was over there, and so I wanted to get him something special. And my husband is an incredibly practical man and he's been wearing the belt that he's been wearing for, I mean, like well over 10 years to the point where like the leather is cracking, um, the hole that he always puts the, you know, the toggle in is like stretched out. I mean, it just looks awful. And I kept telling him, I'm like, can you get a new belt? And he's like, why? This is fine. It works. I'm like, okay. So um, I've been wanting to get him an Hermes belt because they're reversible. The leather is wonderful I, you know i do think they would last a lot longer than the belt that he has uh so anyway i got him one while i was at london heathrow i had no idea what size he was so long story short i got him a belt that was way too big so uh, luckily i could go and exchange it here 
In case you were wondering, when I got the belt at Heathrow, it ended up being more expensive than buying it here. So anyway, if you're traveling <laughs> about, uh, just know that it could be actually cheaper in America. So I ended up getting $40 back and they couldn't extend like a store credit or a gift card or anything like that. I had to spend it right then and there. I think because it's an international exchange, I think that's how they were explaining it to me. Anyway, so I had to pick up something <laughs> while I was there. And of course it was only for like 40 something dollars. And so the gentleman was, you know, suggesting he's like, oh, well, you know, we have clones, scarves, makeup, whatever, lipstick and I was like, sir, I do not need any more makeup. <laughs> he just laughed. He was like, okay. So anyway, let me kind of finish up my uh, skincare and I will show you what I got at Hermes. Okay, so the iconic orange bag and by the size of this box, you can probably guess what I got. I got a click bracelet, another one, <laughs> and it is in the rose gold and this color um, the salesman was explaining is like a seasonal color and it's a little bit warmer than the marron glacé that I have and the name of this color let me just show you oh did he take it off darn the name of this it starts with a ch let me see if it's on the receipt hold on ah yes okay so it's the rose gold finish it's the size gm which I think is the larger one and the name is Chatane, C-H-A-T-A-I-G-N-E. I was debating between this one and a white one, rose gold with the white enamel. And he said, this is a seasonal color. He's like, it may not be here, you know, next season, but he's like, the white is always around. He's like, so if you do want the white eventually, he's like, you'll be able to get it much more easily than this color. So that is sort of what clinched it for me. So I decided to go for this. I'm just gonna take the plastic off of the H here and off of the back here. Okay, so I just wanna compare this to the Marron Glacé that I have. So this is a much cooler taupe and this is a warmer kind of mushroom color. And I did want to get one with the gold, the rose gold finish, since this has the palladium finish. I do wear, as you guys know, I do wear rose gold a lot more, but this is the difference in those two shades, the Marron Glacé and the Chatain, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I now have five of these. Obviously I love these very, very much. I would say, oops, let me see if I can hold these all up. The yellow one is the one that I wear the least, but I do like it. Like if I just need a little pop of color, I do love throwing this on. Um, this is the only pattern one that I have. The one with the little animal print. And here's the new one, the maroon glacé, and then the black one with the gold. So I have all three finishes. I have, well, not all three, but I have gold, the palladium, and the rose gold. I think I need more of the rose gold. I have three of the palladium, one gold, and one rose gold now. I really like this color. I'm glad I went with it. I do like the warmth of it. It's really pretty and it lends itself to being paired up with the rose gold. So I think I'll stick with my um, leather strap bracelet and save this for another day. But that was my unexpected purchase at Hermes, um, but I love it. I'm so glad that I was able to get that. I walked around the store. I really thought it was gonna be easy to find something to spend money on at Hermes, but yeah, they just didn't have my size in a lot of things. I uh, pulled out a few pairs of shoes that I wanted to try. They just didn't have my size. What else? I was even looking at like a doggy rain jacket for butters, but I was like, we live in Vegas. She does not need a rain jacket. Yeah, like we were looking all over. Even my husband thought maybe he could just get like a polo, but they didn't have his size in any of the colors that he would wear. Anyway, their inventory was pretty light. So yeah, so I ended up getting that, which is just fine by me. So I'm gonna go downstairs and put on some makeup. Let's go do that. So I have a call in about 30 minutes. So I thought I'd put on at least a little bit of makeup and the Westman Atelier liquid super loaded highlights have been so inspirational for me. You know, when you just like fall in love with a makeup product so hard, it really just inspires you to like fall in love with makeup all over again. 
that's how this, that's what this product has done for me. So I am definitely gonna use some of that today. Should I just do my makeup out here? No, let me go into the filming area. And yeah, the air conditioning isn't going, so there won't be any humming in the background, at least not for a while. All right, let me start with the Pot de Rosé, and I'm gonna use my Refer 36 brush because my baby blender brush from Westman Atelier is dirty. Adding that to my under eye, and then just gonna pick up a little bit of the Vital Skin foundation stick. Just gonna add a little bit of the Surat bronzer. This is in the shade Soleil Du. And then just gonna take a little bit of this blush from the Hourglass Butterfly palette. This is Sunset Glow blush. I'm gonna take my Surat um, Zibeline eyeshadow and I'm using the Sonia G Classic Crease Brush. Curl my lashes and use my Lancome Lash E Doll. And then I feel like using this Clé de Peau Rouge Creme in shade 115, this Cordeline. One of my favorite reds, it's so cool toned. All right, I think that's it. Oh no, that is not it. I have to do my brows, <laughs> my Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. I think this one's almost done. Yeah, this one is like empty. All right, that's it. I'm gonna hop on my call and I'll be back in a bit. Good morning. How are you guys? I am making some coffee. Do you guys just stand there and watch your coffee maker? <laughs> I stand here and watch my coffee maker until it's done. I always mean to set the timer like the night before, like prep it, set the timer so it's all ready to go when I come down here. So long as I wake up at a normal time. Um, but I always forget. <laughs> I always forget. I've remembered maybe a handful of times since I've had this coffee machine. Anyway, I am going to Pilates this morning. I have not been to Pilates since before Europe. So I want to say it's been about uh, a month, a month or so. Sorry, I'm walking around looking for my tripod. Hold on one second. Yes, it has been probably, I think, exactly a month. God, my eyes are puffy today. Ooh, let me maybe put some ice on them. They even feel puffy. I got these guys from Westman Atelier a while ago. I think when they sent over the, um, the skin activator. Oh, that feels so good. Is that better? Maybe a little. Definitely feels better. Anyway, <laughs> I'm scared of Pilates today. I think I'm going to be really sore when I'm done. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to drink this coffee. I'm going to try and squeeze in a Wordle uh, and then head off to Pilates. Ooh. Back from Pilates, and usually when I go to Pilates, I go to Whole Foods because it's in the same like little strip mall. Um, so let's do a quick little Whole Foods haul. <laughs> I had to re-up on my um, Greek grass-fed yogurt. So I usually pick up two of these. I can get basically like four breakfasts out of one. So this lasts me just a little over a week. Um, so I picked that up. I had to get more watermelon for butters. I'm gonna make a little licky mat for her today because she's going to daycare all day today. And usually when she comes back, she's just like so tuckered out, so hot. She's been running around all day. So I'll give her one of those. And then, um, oh, I got a whole bunch of blueberries. I had to re-up on my blueberries for my breakfast concoction. Oh, I should have gotten some almond butter. I forgot, I think I'm okay for now, but next time I need to get some almond butter. And then I got some fresh linguine and some freshly grated raw um, Pecorino Romano cheese. So, is, was it in this, is it in this vlog? I think it's in this vlog earlier. Yeah, my husband and I went to Italy and I got the Cacio e Pepe. It was not, I don't wanna say it was bad, but it was a version of Cacio e Pepe I've never had. It literally was um, like a, a spaghetti with pepper and the cheese, but then it was like in this thick, almost like an Alfredo sauce. 
and I'm like, you know, cacio e pepe is usually like a butter sauce, and then the cheese is just kind of sprinkled and mixed in, and the it's like, it's a lot lighter, it's a lot fresher, and there really isn't like a heavy cream sauce in there, and so I was a little turned off by it. I mean, it wasn't, it just wasn't what I was expecting, and I don't really like a creamy Alfredo sauce in pasta. It's just too heavy. It just kind of grosses me out. So anyway, I thought I would make my own. So that's what, <laughs> that's what this is for. What else did I get? I got organic chopped kale. Oh, and then of course I was in this section of the grocery store and, and then all the different things, you know, dry fruits and all the other stuff that you can make like a, like an appetizer plate, like a charcuterie board. And so I saw these, I could not resist. These are truffle crisps. I was like, yes, please. Um, and this reminds me of Italy, so I <laughs> got that. And then I had got, I bought all the salsa this last time I was at Costco. So we have like two or three, like huge, t actually, is one in here? Yeah. We have like three of these giant tubs of salsa. And um, <laughs> my husband's like, um, we need to like get chips because we have all the salsa, whatever. So anyway, I got the, the grain-free tortilla chips. I actually prefer these to the corn chips. I feel like usually when I get something that's like grain-free, I'm like kind of sacrificing a little bit, but I actually prefer these. Um, I like like the texture a lot more. And then I got a bag of taro chips. I really like taro chips, so anyway, got those. Oh, and I got an immune refresher shot. I actually just really, really love ginger. And this is ginger, turmeric, and cayenne. I just love these shots. Even if they weren't great for you, I would probably get these every once in a while. But I'm glad that these are like an immunity booster. Oh my God, so good. That is a really good one. Oh, so the base of this was orange juice. God, the label is so tiny. Orange juice, and then there's ginger, lemon, turmeric and cayenne pepper. Oh my God, delicious. I think the ones, even without like a sweet kind of juice, uh, like when it's just like a ginger base is even better because it just really burns. <laughs> it really burns and I love that. <laughs> and that is it. That is my Whole Foods haul. So I'm gonna go and shower. I've gotta do some work and I'll be back in a bit. Just getting ready for my day. I hopped out of my shower and I'm gonna use the Niera. I want to just give you a quick update on the Niera not doing any like comparison photos or anything yet. It, it just hasn't been long enough. However, when I started doing this, I was like, I'm just gonna focus on my under eyes. I really just wanna see what's gonna happen with my under eyes. I really don't wanna do too much. However, I have been zapping these big sunspots cause I'm like, why not? I'm already doing it and I wanna see if these lame. So anyway, that's just my quick update that I'm also zapping these. I probably started, I don't know, maybe like three or four days into it. Um, and I'm maybe on like day, what was today? I think I'm on like day nine. So anyway, I uh, have added in like zapping these guys into the whole routine. So I just wanted to fill you guys in, keep you guys up to date, uh, but I have been using this every single day, <laughs> every morning before I do my skincare. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, put my skincare on and continue getting ready for my day. up those licky mats for butters so they should be all ready to go uh, when she comes home they should be frozen by then um, and then I picked up some UPS packages that I had I think these are all PR packages oh Shani Darden 
Let's see what's in here. Shani Darden, I believe, has sent me something in the past, but it was, if I remember correctly, it had a lot of acids in there and I just couldn't use it. So maybe better luck this time, but I hear really great things about her skincare line. And I do believe it's sold at Sephora. Yeah, I think that's where I first saw it. Box, there she is. And what do we have? We have the, ret oh, the retinol reform. Oh, one for you, one for a friend. Oh, that's so nice. So it has, yeah, unfortunately I cannot use this. Uh, it has encapsulated retinol, non-irritating retinol that smooths fine lines. That I can probably use, but there's also lactic acid in here, which exfoliates and brightens overnight. Lactic acid, I have to be careful with. Some products, if I use it just once or twice a week, I can get away with. But more than that, my skin really starts to react to it. So I have to be careful with this. But anyway, I hopefully will be able to give this a shot in the future because, yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot of those products piling up because I can't use that much of it at a time. So anyway, thank you. Thank you so much to Shani Darden. Oh, and this was their 10th anniversary mailer. Oh. Congratulations, 10 years is a long time to be in business. So a very big congratulations. And then, oh, I got something from Nira. Exciting. We were just talking about Nira, weren't we? All right. Ooh, the Pro Laser. Oh, how exciting. So this is basically the same tool that I have, but it has a bigger opening. Sorry, I keep pressing up against my um, microwave that's right here and I'm putting the lock on. Okay. Um, oh, that's so exciting. Well, I'm going to, I'm not going to screw up my testing now because as you guys know, I'm testing with the Precision Pro Laser um, and this is the Pro Laser. So I'm going to have to put this aside and use it when I'm done with my 90 day test of that. But oh, they also included the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Very exciting. Wow. Thank you so much, Nira. This is really, really awesome. Thank you. Okay, last box. We have something from Surat, and I think I know what this is, and I may not be able to talk about it yet. Ooh, oh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, these are launching. I'm so sorry. These are launching August 7th, and they didn't say specifically not to talk about it, but I, I don't want to be that person. <laughs> I don't want to be that influencer that mistakenly talks about something. Um, so anyway, if I can, I will talk about this very soon. I'm so sorry. New products from Surat coming out very, very soon. Okay, that's it. We're going to go pick up Butters, and then I can't wait to give her her little licky mat. Hi, baby. Who's a good girl? Who, who's... Who... <laughs> Oh, you must be tired. You must be tired, huh? Oh. 